Emmanuel. I believe you are going to have a wonderful day with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The title of our message, Fear Not. Tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Fear not. Fear changes our focus. Fear weakens our determination and will power. Fear is a more deceptive enemy than Satan himself. Tell your neighbor, fear not. Fear. Hallelujah. The blind man cried out when the opposition told him to hold his peace. He feared not. They shouted at him, hold your peace. He refused to fear the opposition. Millions have submitted to their fear. We shall take our reading from the book of 2 Kings, chapter 6. I will read verse 1 and then verse 16. The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan, where each of us can get a pole. And let us build a place there for us to live. Let you take it to verse 16. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elisha prayed, O oh Lord, open his eyes so he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes. And he looked and saw the hills full of horses and chariots of fire of all land Elisha. Let someone say, Fear not. Fear not. I can hear you. Fear not. Amen. Fear not. By word, what Elisha said to his servant is spoken to all faithful Christians, all faithful servants of God, all born again. When without a fighting within our fears, the name of Jesus, 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 within fear. Fear not those who are with us, fighting for us, protecting us, are more than those who are against us to destroy us. The angels unspeakably more numerous. God infinitely more powerful. When we cannot see beyond our immediate situation, we begin to panic. When we are magnifying the causes of our fear, we ought to possess ourselves with clear and great and high thoughts of God and invisible world. Open with me the book of Romans 8, verse 31. What then shall we say in response to this if God is for us? 
who can be against us. If God is for us, you know what follows. Tell your neighbor, if God is for me, I know what follows. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 43 from verse 1. But now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Tell your neighbor, if God is for me, I know what follows. If I pass through the waters, he will be with me. Every mountain for our sake shall be leveled. The hill will become plain. When we walk through fire, we will not be burnt. Rise up, rise up, and begin to confess this right now. If God be for me, every mountain shall be leveled. The hill will become plain. If I pass through fire, I will not be burned. Begin to confess this right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You may be seated. Second Kings chapter 6, verse 16. Don't be afraid. For a master to say, don't be afraid. A master telling his servant, don't be afraid. That shows he's sure of his security. He's sure of assurance. He's sure of inner joy. He's sure of ease of art. Elisha saw himself safe and wished that his servant might see what he saw. Oh, it's a pity. Look at this boy. Oh, you need to see what I'm looking at. He prayed for him. Lord, open his eyes that he may see. When the eyes of our body are open, we see danger. We see what our situation has to say. One thing for the eyes of the body to open and for the eyes of faith to open is two things there. Look at that. Hey, this is Charot! Charot! <sighs> the eyes of his body were open and he saw danger. Elijah prayed. And the Lord opened his eyes of faith that he may see the protection they are under. Let someone say, the protection we are under. You must know that we are under his eyes. In that Exodus 14, you take your reading from verse 14, it says, God will fight for you. In other words, when you see the law fight for you, you will regret your complaint. When you see the law fighting for you, you will hold your peace. You will quiet down. Rest of a prayer. Ask God to open the eyes of your faith that you may see the protection we are under.
prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we shall pray as Elisha did so that the eyes of our faith will open so that we fear no more, worry no more, doubt no more. Once you know God's we, God's opinion concerning your situation. Many of your situations here today are meant to preserve you. It may look like evil, but there is no real evil in it. You say, I have sickness. Our own sickness is not like others. Ours is meant to preserve us. It's meant to strengthen our desire yeah. is meant to keep us for a new level in life yeah. is meant to reform us yeah. tell your neighbor my trouble is not like others my trouble is meant to keep me for a new level my trouble is meant to preserve me for redemption my trouble is man to prepare me for the challenges ahead. My trouble is man to reform me for a better position. My trouble, my trouble is man to keep me. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. God is still saying something. Don't because of your trouble. Change your direction. Don't because of your trouble. Change your confession. God is still saying something. In Every situation, God has something to say. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, God is still saying something. I will not because of my situation. I will not because of my situation. Change my direction. Change my confession. God is still saying something. I will not because of you change my position, change my direction. God is still saying something through you. It may be to stop me a while. What can God say through your situation? It may be to stop you a while in order to preserve you. It may be to stop you a while in order to check you because you are going too far. It may be to stop you a while in order to prepare you for the challenges ahead. It may be, it may be to stop you a while in order to keep you for a new level. It may be to stop you a while in order to reform you. Hey, your neighbor, I'm working with the law. I'm not used to failure. I'm not used to doubt. I'm working with the law. <laughs> Elijah was telling his servant that you are working with the Lord. We that work with the law, we are not used to doubt. We are not used to fear. We are not. I'm working with the law. Therefore, I'm not working by sight. 
I'm working with the Lord. What is seen cannot dictate my direction. I'm working with the Lord. What is seen cannot change my confession. I'm working with the Lord. When the servant, when the eyes of his body were opened, he saw danger. But when the eyes of his faith opened, he saw. Elisha said to his servant, Lord, open his eyes of faith that he may see the protection we are. <laughs> right now, open your lips and begin to ask God to open your eyes of faith. Open my eyes of faith prayer so that I will see the protection I'm under prayer in Jesus Christ's name we pray I want you to continue to meditate in this message. That one thing for the eyes of the body to open, another thing for the eyes of faith to open. When the eyes of the body open, one sees what your situation has to say. But when the eyes of your faith open, you will see the protection you are under. Yes. 